What's good superstars? Back with another video. Celebrity Starbucks, as you can tell, we got all the ingredients here on the table, but what would Celebrity Starbucks be without our special guests? Chef Frank! Let's there do it this! Is. Let's do this! And by popular demand, we've got in this corner, <laughs> organic milk. Get in here. Organic milk. Shy milk standing right in the middle as usual, <laughs> holding <laughs> the barista bib right here. And being shy as usual. So guys, this idea actually was, believe it or not, Shy Mel's dream choice. So Shy Mel, what's our choice today? Okay, so our choice is the peppermint. This is the white chocolate peppermint mocha. Oh, okay. Can I see it? <laughs> I can smell it. it smells chocolate. Yeah. That mm -hmm. smells chocolate. I don't really smell the peppermint. <laughs> We'll show you guys a close up oh, wow. without spilling it on the table. There you can see, can't see much, just looks like whipped cream that's melted on the top right now. Today what we're going to be doing is something different, we haven't done it before. It's going to be battle of the boyfriend and the girlfriend. So me versus you. I hope you did your research. I did some research, I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy you. But we got Judge Frank that means. The Judge, Judge Frank. Frank today. And you, already you, biased, though, you better be nice. How is this biased? I'm an honest. He's already person. jealous of me. I'm an honest guy. I need to put the barista bib on. <laughs> so this is gonna be a new one. This is how we're gonna put on the barista bib. Here we go. You ready? Uh, wow, it worked. Did you see that? Did you see that? Unbelievable. Yeah, so, guys, we got the barista yeah, bib ready, but we're gonna take a little break here and let Chef Mel go because she's ready to go with her organic ingredients that nobody likes. Good luck to you. Wish you all the best. Okay, so we're gonna start with our drink. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, actually, I'm not gonna do that first. Okay, so I'm gonna start by frothing my milk since I think the milk should be frothed first. So I'm gonna pour just up to the line and I'm gonna let that go while it's spinning, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna get my cream and I get my clear glass because I wanna get this going. And I'm gonna put the cream in right away, okay? Because we're making the, the mocha, so it does need to be a little bit creamy, because it's a, it's a hot drink. So I'm gonna put just a little bit in there, because you don't need a lot. Again, do you see that it's organic? Not your garbage, that's, a, that's good. That's about like a tablespoon and a half, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get my coffee going. So it does, this recipe does call for espresso. I guess not a full-size coffee. That's good. So then, I'm gonna get this and just pour it right in. I'm pulling a frame here, being a little messy. In the meantime, okay. Now I know that I need to melt these chocolate chips. And I'm gonna use these ones specifically, the organic ones, not these. And I know Joe's gonna use these because he has a sweet tooth and he likes garbage. So, I'm just gonna pour a bunch. I'm not gonna make it too sweet. But I'm gonna use coconut sugar just to spice it up. Okay, because usually I use monk fruit sugar, but coconut sugar is great too. It's low glycemic as well. Okay, I'm not doing this very neat, but I am trying to be quick with it. About two tablespoons, and that should be enough. Because again, remember, there's the white chocolate chip, so it's already gonna be sweet with that. Now, my trick here, I'm gonna put the milk in very shortly, but I'm gonna add this actually peppermint mocha cold brew in there, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. I think I got everything else. I'm gonna pour my milk, okay? So again, this is gonna melt those chocolate chips all the way. Now I need the foam, and I'm just gonna put that foam on the top from the frother. So do you see that they're already melted? See Frank comes stirring those chocolate chips in? You've learned your lesson from that day. Not sure what these are, but I need this. I'm not gonna put a lot, I don't really like mint things in my coffee, but it is the peppermint mocha. So I've struggled a little bit. But I'm not gonna, I don't like a lot. Honestly, I don't like it. He doesn't like it either, I, I know. Okay. Joe, I mean Frank. Sorry, Frank has to test it. All right, so I get to judge today. So it's Chad Michael Murray's drink. My favorite. So let's see what it's like. Let's take a look at both of them first. I still haven't actually tasted this one yet. 
I have to say the look of your drink is very appealing. Thank you. I have Thank to admit it. But let me taste this and see what it tastes like. Wow, very minty. Yeah. Very minty. I'm not sure if it's a favorite of mine, but I mean the, 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 the coffee part is good, but it's very minty. So let's go with this. I wanna make sure I get some of the candy cane. Less minty, which I like, personally. Not as minty as that, and the coffee flavor is amazing. I have to say the coffee flavor, okay. flavor is perfect. Foam is perfect. The color, really, really good. I have to say, you know, Thank you. you get a good drink over here. Thank I think you. you'd be impressed. Thank you. Yeah, I think he would. I think um, Barista Joe's got his work cut out for him over here, but I'm not gonna rate it yet. I'm gonna wait till the end. Okay, I want to see how the other Thank one you. goes first. But well done. Thank Good you. Job. Joe, can I invite my Chad Michael Murray over? No. To have my drink? No. Okay, so Chef Mel did a good job, puts the pressure on me, but I have some uh, unique techniques I'm going to be using for this drink. If it wasn't said at the beginning of the video by Chef Mel, this is Chad Michael Murray's favorite holiday drink. It is the peppermint white chocolate mocha. As you can tell, there's no stuttering when I say it. We're gonna have to try it, see how it tastes. You get that make cake right at the end. Chef Frank taught me that one, guys. You try your food before you make it. This way you know the hints, the flavors. You also wear the barista bib because the barista bib always wins. And this will be proven very shortly. However, we are taking a risk and you will see that very shortly. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff that nobody likes, put it over here. Chef Frank, taking after you, you know? We're keeping the whipped cream, you know how it is. So guys, <laughs> when, you make, when you make coffee, you need some beans, right? You need some espresso beans. So what we're gonna do here, this is the unique part. You see, Chef Mel did this off camera, but basically, you grab some beans, or crushed beans for our espresso maker, and you throw them in to this guy here. We're showing you the ins and outs right now. You pat it down, right? Then you put another one, you pat it down. But we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Chef Mel was asking about the peppermint leaves, right? You wanna know what we're doing with the peppermint leaves? We're opening them up and we're sprinkling them into the coffee. You know, this is unique. This is how you get that minty flavor. You sprinkle them in, you mix them up a bit, get them in there. You can put a little bit more if you want. You want it, it depends how how much you want to taste that peppermint. So we're putting it in there. Hopefully you taste it when it comes out. You might not, we might not have put enough, but we're gonna put an entire bag in. So this is unique. Nobody does this. Chef Joe, Reese the Bib, we do this. So you do that. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is it's hard to melt the chocolate, right? If you put a couple chocolate pieces inside of your little espresso thing here, right? You might get some of the heat to melt it down as it comes through. Mel is looking at me right now like I'm crazy, but she doesn't know, she doesn't understand. That's why she's gonna lose. We're gonna always have this white chocolate. It's gonna be coming through all kinds. Right now, your coffee has to be infused with the white chocolate. It has to be infused in there. I don't even think Starbucks knows about this hack, right? I'm making this hack up as we go. Chef Frank probably doesn't know what he's in for right now. He's gonna say, how did you make it? Tastes better than Starbucks, tastes better than anything Chef Mel ever made. Chad Michael Murray's gonna be calling me up saying, how did you make that? I need to make one. So we'll come over here, we'll pop this in, lock it in place, and hopefully it doesn't explode. Okay, before we do the coffee, we want it to stay hot, so we're gonna pour the milk in, do the frothing, pour it right up to that line there, beautiful. First line, we don't want too, too much foam, because we're gonna have a nice topper of whipped cream, but we pull that off right there. While that's happening, we can make our coffee. Let's see if it explodes, guys. Looks like it's perfectly fine to me. Infusing that peppermint and white chocolate into the coffee. Into the coffee, the base has it already in there. You don't need to add it, but we will add it. But you don't need to add it. We're trying to imitate Starbucks, that's the only reason we're adding more. But if you want your coffee to actually taste like it, right now you don't even gotta do anything. That's enough right there, right? Like, that's your coffee, but it's fine. Everyone's learning today. Chef Frank's learning. Chef Mel's learning. 
I'm not learning because I'm a genius, but that's just what they say. Mel likes to put in the cream first. We're not doing that. We're going straight coffee first. Over the sink, you know, because when you spill, you like it to be cleaned up for you. Then you come back here. We got this little mess here, but don't worry about that. That's what vacuums are for. Get a couple of these, maybe a handful. We already have it infused in the coffee, so this is just for effect, right? You get that little plopping noise. That's why you do it. You get a little spoon stirring going. Chef Frank taught me that one a couple weeks ago. So right now our chocolates are at the bottom, but they're slowly dissolving, giving you that chocolatey flavor. As a speak of the devil, we got our foam ready. Let's grab a spoon. Chef Frank's drawer, you gotta respect the drawer, you gotta call it what it is. Right? Beautiful froth. If you didn't notice our last few videos, we had a broken frother, but uh, if you didn't notice, then uh, just forget that we said that. So we're gonna pour this on top, and we're gonna try and hold the foam back until the very end. So look at that, look at that. And then you're gonna see this nice foamage right here. Beautiful foamage. Beautiful. Expected nothing less, to be honest, but this is what real froth looks like. Chef Mel had a great appearance on hers though. You can't, you can't do her wrong there. She did a good job on that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crush the rest of this candy cane that Chef Mel left. Crack it on here. And we're just gonna crush it. That's how you crush it. Throw that in. Nice and nice, you know? Try to make it as minty as possible. Because this is all layers. This is all layering. Chef Frank taught me that once too, you know? about the layers. I want you to see it next to the other ones just as we make it. So that's that. Chef Mel didn't know what this is. If you look on Starbucks website, what they do is they do this minty stuff. They top it with some whipped cream. So that's what we're going to do. And then after they top it with some whipped cream, they get some dark chocolate, right? So we got some dark chocolate right here and they shave it. So we're gonna just cut little pieces off with a knife. Careful doing this, guys. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not a professional. But you get a little bit of pieces like that, sprinkle it on top like that. That's your drink, guys. Let's just try this one for good luck. That was the death stare. Chef Frank, it's all you. All right, Frank. All right. It's all so yours. This was interesting. So first thing I noticed just by like, this is a hot coffee. Like this is hot compared to, you know, that kid thing we were talking about last week. Kid this is a really, 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 really hot coffee. And I have to say, I mean, you really can't see this anymore and it's gone down. Like the look of the coffee color wise, very similar, but you can see that clear layer at the top over here, right? But I'm very curious to taste this because what was happening over there with the espresso is very interesting. So, here it goes. Look-wise, excellent. Now let's take a taste and see what happens. Gotta get through the whipped cream. Mm. <laughs> happens every time. Mm. You know what? I have to say, I can definitely taste the tea. Definitely taste the tea. The coffee does overpower it, which is a good thing because you want to taste the coffee. But what I find here is the, 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 the chocolate taste, I can definitely, I definitely taste that as well. I gotta take just one more taste to figure it out. I have to say this was really, really well done. This is gonna be a tough decision because both of them, I have to say, they definitely have the coffee taste, which is important in this one, I think. I think you definitely need the coffee taste. I think I'm gonna base my decision here on the flavor, because as we all know, this was a very minty flavor, and I didn't get any, a strong minty flavor from either one, but there is one that has a slight advantage. So I think I'm ready to make my decision. Okay, well, Mel plays with the food. Let's see what Chef Frank decides here. All right, I don't know why you're in the middle, but that's fine, because I'm making the decisions here. Wow. All right, so, as I was saying earlier, the look, if I have to give it the look, they're both very equal, okay? I do like the fact that, you know, 
you see a lot of the foam up here and the whipped cream was obviously a sweeter addition, which they do use at Starbucks. They do use that. I have to say that both of them were very smart in using the candy cane for the flavor. So I definitely got that. So I'm gonna just say this before I make my decision. Okay, I'll tell you the scores first. It was literally a score of 9.4 and 9.5. Wow. Oh. This was a very close match. We can't be upset. No, we cannot be upset. It was a very close match. But if I have to go, like I always have to go flavor-wise. Okay, the winning one here is Barista the joke has wow, to take this one. However, and I, just so you understand it, because I honestly thought you had a winner right from the start. That was a hard. However, thing. what made the that. difference is, and it was a chance, putting that tea in the coffee maker gave that extra minty flavor. That's true. Okay, game changer. If you like mint. Use that at home if you're trying to make this. Put yeah. it in the coffee. And I think that's what it was because uh, either way, I, I perso personally, I drink both of these over this one. Yeah. Because That's that one is a little bit too minty. Yeah. But you need that minty flavor because it's in the name. You have to go with it. Chad Michael Murray's gonna want that too. Yeah. But I have to say, I think he'd go with either one of these. But with a 9.5 out of 10 against the 9.4 out of 10. Okay. Joe, you're taking this you one. You know what? Considering that I did all this research and went to the lab and tested out all these different coffees, and Mel just woke up and came to do this. I think uh, she did very well, so let's give her a round of applause. Right, guys, great job. Thank you. Also, Thank also you. as Mel makes her drink, she gives you guys all kinds of knowledge. You always see those mathematical equations going around her head. So, guys, should be very appreciative of the health concerns that exactly. she has. Exactly. Remember, this is the healthier version. Yeah, that's way less so calories. You want a healthier version, less calories. There you go. And no whipped cream. Tastes just like, you know what? I'm going to try yours out of yeah. respect. Out of yeah. respect, I'm going to try this one. Thank you. I'll try none. Yeah. Let me try this one. To get through the whipped cream. I'm biased. Just compare it to this. That one's definitely overpowering, okay. though, I think, don't you think? This one's way more right. sugary. Right. It has, this is a hot drink. That's it the honest The temperature hot. has to be hot. You can't put in any cold pepper. I think oh, you're, right, and you just, no, no, you just lost that too because it's, it's, the it's, it's warm, right? Like if you go buy a coffee, do you want it warm? <laughs> no, or is it hype though? Ryan Seacrest is hype. Exactly. exactly. Ryan Seacrest he loves kid temperature. I think so too. So, okay. And yep. I think Chad Michael Murray would just like me making it over you. Okay, you lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being honest. <laughs> All right, guys. I got uh, a couple of people here who want to tell you to do something. Guys, what are we gonna do right now, Frank? We Tell are us. going to like this video. It, it's right here on my face, not on that face, this face, so like it. No, what are we doing? Like on it. my face, like, like it. Like the video, okay. smash the like button, guys, and hit the subscribe button. Hit that hit button. Hit the subscribe button down there. If you like these videos, we've got a whole playlist over here. Click that, and you'll be able to watch all of them. Bunch of different celebrities. Chef Mel won one time, trust me, I don't know how it happened, but she did. it happened. Fair and square, she did. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I got 9.4. Thank you, guys. I got 9.4. Love you.